consciousness seems different because it has this property of being subjective, experiential, uh, but the, the basis for it is a kind of pragmatic materialism. So materialism, the idea that consciousness is a property of physical material organized somehow, and, and we don't know exactly how. But in the end, it will turn out to be a property of physical stuff. Consciousness seems different because it has this property of being subjective, experiential. It doesn't seem on the face of it to be the kind of thing that one could account for in terms of neurons or neurotransmitters or biology or, or anything, really. But the fact that it seems like that from where we stand now with the concepts and the tools that we have now doesn't mean it will always seem like that. And that's partly because we will understand more and more, I think, about how not only to identify things in the brain that go along with consciousness, but that actually begin to explain properties of consciousness. So this sense of mystery, I think, will dissolve. Maybe materialism won't be enough at the end of the day, but maybe it will. And for me now, it's the best strategy to follow.